Suppose you were earning 120,000 Jamaican dollars per month. If you save 20% of that, that would be 24,000. If you save 24,000 every month, at the end of the year, you would have 288,000. But at the end of seven years, you would have over $2 million. Greetings, entrepreneurs. Welcome to episode 66 of the Entrepreneur Secrets Podcast. I'm your host, C. Ruth Taylor, and this is a program where we give you the roadmap to take charge of your publishing with stories and strategies to dominate entrepreneurship. Coming up in today's show, we are bringing the curtains down on our Creating Financial Freedom for Authors Beyond Book Sales series. And so this week, it's going to be a solo show. We're going to be talking about millionaire money maps. What do you do when you have earned that money? And I'll be sharing from some persons who are millionaires who basically know what they're doing. And it's all part of this book, Penny to Win It, Going Beyond Book Sales by C. Ruth Taylor. That's yours truly. I'm also going to be talking about my latest entrepreneurship venture. <laughs> I'm really happy about that one. But let's have a word from our sponsor, Bamboo Sparks, before we get into all of that. Your book is the perfect spark to get the fire going in your personal life, career, business, or ministry. Light that book spark today with Bamboo Sparks, a global independent publishing services and publishing education and training business for transformation. Bamboo Sparks will take you from manuscript to market faster than you thought possible and even manage the process for you. Check out their three main offerings, the self-publishing spark, the rocket writing spark, and their bamboo sparks done for you management deals for authors in the Caribbean and the diaspora. Discover how bamboo sparks can help you to publish and leverage your book to grow 90 feet tall at bamboosparks.com and that's bamboo with a U. All right, so as I think about this series and think about this podcast and the book that gave birth to this podcast, Authorpreneur Secrets, I am putting together a course and that course is in audio format. It's going to be like an audio book. So it's Authorpreneur Secrets 101, the audio book course. So you're going to learn in that course, just like the book to write fast so I have written 27 books in five years and I have been able to use my books, to leverage my books, to make a full-time living with my writing. And I've been able to help others to be able to earn extra income. And I'm breaking down the strategies. I write books fast. I can do it in 24 hours or 30 days. How did I do that? So I've decoded my strategy. And I have captured it. So part A of this audio course talks about writing and we are focusing on nonfiction books. So you're going to learn some strategies to write your nonfiction book uh, fast, how to outline it, how to come up with a topic, how to come up with a book title, how to submit your manuscript. All of those things, we talk about mistakes that new authors make. And then part B now is about publishing on a budget. So you're going to learn some of the tips and tricks to save thousands of dollars or to cut your cost. That is there. And then part C deals with how to market your book. And what is entrepreneurship? And you're going to learn about 15 different income streams from a book. So... I want to encourage you to get this course. It's going to be for $99. And you can listen to it on the go, just like an audiobook. Download it on your phone and everything. And you can go to extramileja.com slash entrepreneur secret 101. 
and there you will find this course. So if you go to my website, look on the publishing services, there's also a column for that. And I'll put a link to it in the show notes. So everything that we're talking about, taking charge of your publishing and uh, entrepreneurship, all of that is captured in this course, just for $99. And for the month of August, we're going to be giving a summer special, which is a 50% discount. So you can get it for $49. After that, the price is going to go back to normal. So I want to encourage you to get that and look out for the links in the show notes. I'm really excited about that because this is the heart of what I do. Even my dissertation is going to be on this topic of entrepreneurship, leveraging books for greater impact and income beyond book sales. So that's it in terms of my latest entrepreneurship venture. Okay, so let's get into the teaching for today in terms of millionaire money habits. And uh, we're looking at chapter eight in this book, Penny to Win It. Now, when you read many of my books, the Design to Win series and all of them, I always include this part because it's not just about impact, but income and money is an area that a lot of us have problems in. God knows I've had problems in this area, but I've seen vast improvements from applying these principles. All right, so 10 keys to win with money. One, you have to become an excellent earner. You cannot manage what you don't have. And I want to say aim for at least three income streams. All right, simplify your lifestyle so that you can learn to live on less than you make. The other key is to track your money, know where it all goes and live on a budget. Be an excellent manager. And by management, we mean having a system or plan that enables you to give, spend, save, and invest. You wanna divide your money and assign it to specific purpose. You also want to be generous. Give and save before you spend. That for, for me is giving 10% to God. No, there's no magic in that. It's just that there are precedents, scriptural precedents for the 10%, but you can give more. Eliminate debt as much as possible because the borrower is slave to the lender. Build wealth legitimately. And don't be a rich fool. So in terms of millionaire money maps, I've looked at T. Harvey Eckers money map and he has what is called the six jars. So the key is not how much you earn, but how you manage what you earn. So he uses the idea of the six jars. It could be six envelopes. It could be six bank accounts where you have what is called your financial freedom account, where you put 10% of what you earn there after tax. And this is money that you don't touch and it can be there for retirement or you can use it to invest. Then there's another 10% for long-term savings or spending. So you're saving for a car or a house, you put on another 10% for that. Then there's education. He says 10%, you must always be investing in self-development, buying books, going to seminars or getting that degree. He says put 10% over there for that. Then 55% for necessities. That's your utilities, that's your clothes, that's your bills. Those are your regular expenses. 55%. And then he says 10% to play. You must learn to enjoy the fruits of your labor. So he says each month, 10% of what you earn should be designated your play money, where you just spend it on things that you like and enjoy and you treat yourself. And he says, give away 5%. And I suppose that is to charity or the less fortunate. Now, I have revised that a little bit. I would rather... 10% in the FFA, 10% for LTS, education, 10%, giving 10% and the 5% as in the play. But that is one way of doing it. Jim Rohn also had a 70-30 plan or 70-10-10. So you live off 70%, 10 for charity or church, 10 for investment, 
Oh, he said another 10 was for passive income, which to me is kind of like passive income with the investments, 10% to make a profit and 10% to, to give. And then there is also in the book, I talk about the famine proof plan, which is taken again from scripture, what prime minister Joseph did in Egypt, where he put away one fifth of the grain for seven years during the period of abundance. And then he was able to sell that in a period of famine. And this is my personal favorite one. It is like a modified version of the Harvey Eka plan, which is 10% giving, but 20% in your, uh, I would call that your famine proof plan, where you are putting that aside in some investment or something, and you're not touching it for seven years. And 5% for emergency or special needs and projects, 55% spending for regular expenses, 5% for education and 5% for play. Remember in all of this, you also need to remember your taxes. So a portion of your income should be taken out for taxes, especially as authors, you are a business, you as independent authors, very often you start out as a sole trader, if you're not registered as a corporation. And so after you earn above a certain threshold, you are going to have to pay taxes. And I want to encourage you in that. Now, Harvey Eka is a millionaire. Joseph was a wealthy person. But let me just put a little number on that. Suppose you were earning 120,000 Jamaican dollars per month. If you save 20% of that, that would be 24,000. If you save 24,000 every month at the end of the year, you would have 288,000. But at the end of seven years, you would have over $2 million in your account. That is more than what most persons save in their lifetime. 2 million Jamaican would be about 20,000 US, I believe. Yes. And so that might not be a lot for some persons in the diaspora, but just putting aside that amount, that's good for something and that can help you to accomplish some of your goals. So don't just spend everything. You have to come up with a system. And these are millionaire money management system. And within seven years, if you were able to just put aside 200 US or so each month, for seven years, you would be a millionaire. Of course, there are things to fast track that and you can invest in various things. Talk to an investment advisor. But the book just covers the basic stuff, right? So chapter eight talks about that. And then chapter nine is credit card advisory. We were talking about the dangers of credit card and that kind of thing. I want to recommend some books to help you to win with money. Total Money Makeover by Dave Ramsey, The Millionaire Next Door by Thomas J. Stanley and William Danko, Secrets of the Millionaire Mind by T. Harvey Eker, The Richest Man in Babylon by George Samuel Clayson, Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill, The Legacy Journey by Dave Ramsey, Smart Money, Smart Kids, Dave Ramsey and Rachel Cruz, Everyday Millionaires by Chris Hogan, Retire Inspired by Chris Hogan. Now these books have things that will help you to win with money. So that's it for today's show. As we bring the curtains down on our Creating Financial Freedom series, I'll put the links in the show notes to the book so that you can learn more. I trust that you enjoyed this episode. If you found it useful, share it with a friend, subscribe to my YouTube channel, It'll help me reach a thousand subscribers. And I share great interviews. I share the podcast episodes and I share tips to help you to win with books and to win at life. Ta for now. Until next time. I'm Tamara Francis, educator and editor. Don't forget to rate, review, subscribe, and share the podcast with your network. If you'd like to increase your impact and income with books, visit authorpreneursecrets.com for more resources, including the books, Pen It to Win It, and Authorpreneur Secrets. 
Join the Authorpreneur Secrets Academy membership group for courses, coaching, and community support to write, publish, and win with books. Until next time, go pen it to win it.